song. No, it's E Hope E. Inajipo, everybody stand and sing real loud. Gentlemen, take your hats off. E Hope E. Jesus, Jesus, 
Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, you've caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we who have known the mystery of that light on earth may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you and the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Please be seated for the first reading. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as, in, as with joy at the harvest. As people exult when divide and plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tampering warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named a wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the reading of the gospel. This is the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. And this was the first registration that was taken while Cornelius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house of David and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her to deliver that child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Now in that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you that you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Now when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. 
that Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Christ Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Well, Merry Christmas. Gosh, it feels good to hear that. I bet all you kids here, man, you've been waiting so long to say that. It has taken forever, hasn't it? When did you start keeping track of getting close to Christmas? In July. In July. Yeah, we know you did. Uh, probably what? Thanksgiving? Maybe Halloween? <laughs> but we have this time that we've been getting ready. Now, before today, was it Christmas? No. No. What was it? Do you know how many kids know? I want, I want short, short kids, not big kids. What do we call that season? Do you remember? Advent. Advent. Advent means the part that comes before. And it's a time that we get ready and we prepare. So how do we prepare? Present shopping? No. That's a preparation for a different thing. We prepare by praying and reading the Bible and maybe going to church and decorating the house, not just with Christmas trees and pretty stuff, but with things that remind us of the baby Jesus and what we're getting ready for. Now, tomorrow, what day is tomorrow? Christmas Day. Actually, in the church, we start at sundown the day before. Did you know that? Yes. Aren't you glad? I am. I don't think I could wait till morning. And we do that at Easter time too. We start celebrating Easter the Saturday night before with the sunsets. And that's a really cool way to do things. I like that. It's a very holy day. Now, what about December 26th? What day is that? Don't you dare say St. Say St. Stephen. Uh, that, that is, but that's not my point. You're going to mess it up. It's still Christmas. How many days are in Christmas? Oh, you flunked. Well, don't you remember the song? On the first, I'm not going to sing it all, but you know the song. We've been hearing it since Halloween on the, in the, all the stores. Christmas is a season. There are 12 days. And that's so cool. And the first day is the 26th. That's when we start to celebrate Christmas. So if you're able to, you leave your tree up. You leave your decorations up. How many of you have a creche in your home with like a little shed and the baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph and maybe some sheep and a cow, maybe a camel, maybe some wise guys? Anybody got one? Some of those? If, if you can, that's really neat. That's a fun way to do that. In our house, we don't put the baby Jesus out until tonight. And so we'll go home. I'll find where I hit him. And then we, we put him out. And who's missing? Who's missing? Who's missing? The three kings, they don't come until January 6th, 12 days later. And the reason why... The three kings, how many thought the kings came at the same time that those shepherds did? It's okay, it's wrong, but if you got that, because I believe that for a long time. But actually, the, the, the three kings, they didn't come until Jesus was a toddler. Isn't that interesting? So many people don't know that. There are a lot of things that we don't under, 
that we don't always understand about Christmas. But probably the most wonderful thing about Christmas is that God is able to come in the form of Jesus Christ and to bless us and to pray for us. And when he gets older and he gets baptized then, that is like a hukkah ceremony. He baptizes us through that ceremony. And so then when we become baptized, it is like we become little brothers and sisters to Jesus Christ. He is our older brother. And that is really awesome. That's why in the prayers that we have here, we, we like to refer to him as God's chaske, his eldest son. And that way, the way we do things in Lakota way, if I adopt someone, I don't adopt just that person, but their whole family gets hooked up with my family. That's why you got to be careful who you adopt. You got to make sure your your relative, your new relatives are going to get along. But Jesus doesn't care. He loves us all anyway. And so he says, "You are my younger brothers and my younger sisters." And that way now Jesus' family is our family. That's why we can call God our Father. So all these are sacred things that we do. Um, now, I also want to mention that in the story that we heard about how Jesus was born, you know, uh, we, we kind of get stuck in our head how nice it is. It must be so wonderful. We see pictures and TV shows where you see the star and it's so peaceful. And now, those of you who are mothers, the idea of giving birth in an area where there might be animals is probably not something you'd really want to do. I don't imagine you'd be very calm or quiet about it. I, I'd be kind of upset. Um, and, and I'm sure Mary, it was not ideal. And she must have been wondering, oh my gosh, if I am supposed to be giving birth to the Son of God, why is this happening? This is not the way it's supposed to be. And yet, God is still there. These shepherds come, and they're called to go see this, this baby king. And you think about kings when they're born, like uh, the new King Charles of England. Where do you think he was born? Probably some fancy place in... Uh, uh, you know, with all the best doctors and everything. But here, the shepherds come to see this king in this very humble way. And they see Joseph as Ikchewichasha. He is just a humble man. And Mary looking simple like any mother that they've ever known. And yet they know because the angels told them that this was a most sacred event. All all births are sacred events, but this one in particular. And so this is a, a sacred time. And just as things didn't go perfectly, the way they thought it should go for Mary and Joseph, a lot of times we get upset that maybe the Christ, Christmas isn't the way we think it should be. But you know what? It's okay. It doesn't matter. Because God calls us to the birth of Jesus Christ. Just as any mother will tell you when that baby is ready to come, the baby is going to come. There's no stopping it. You cannot stop Christmas. You cannot stop Jesus Christ from coming into our lives. All during Advent, we've been talking about this in church and used it as a way to prepare. And so now here we are. Ready or not, here we are. Jesus Christ comes and he is with us. One of the names that we were told to call Jesus is Emmanuel. And that word means God is with us. What a powerful, powerful event. And so this sacred day is a time when we come together to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and to prepare our hearts for when Jesus comes again, the most sacred time that he comes to bless us. Amen. Hey, who's got the... Uh, I'll have that clipboard now.
Well, you've heard me say this before. There's some things that we do better standing up. One is singing, and the other is praying. So as you are able, please stand for our prayers. In peace and unity with all peoples, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Hear our prayer. Creator and Redeemer, as we approach you in prayer, help us to have an open mind and a forgiving heart. We pray for your community in the Anglican cycle of prayer. Let's, let's pray, pray for Canterbury. In the Diocese of South Dakota, we pray for us, Tioshpe Wakan. In the Episcopal Council of Indigenous Ministries, we remember all peoples. For Michael, the presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church. For Jonathan, the bishop of South Dakota. For all ministers of your church. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Creator, maker of all that is, may the rising sun remind us of who gives us great wisdom and strength. Help us, your people, as we walk your sacred path in life, so that generations to come will have the light as they walk your path. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator, may goodness be always in your hearts and gentleness in your speech. We are reminded of the things that make us happy in this life. Friends and family and you. O oh, great power and source of all life, help us to walk the way with you always. We pray for your guidance. We pray for your family that is far away from us, for their safety. We pray for broken relationships and for time to heal. Lord, in your mercy. Creator, we thank you for our families, our friends, and our enemies. We thank you for letting us rely on your protection and for being there to help us in time of need. Your power gives us strength despite the harshness of our lives. You are the great one who calms our fears and anxieties. Give us strength and courage to walk the strong winds in life by walking with you. We pray to you for new life and awareness for those who suffer in body, mind, and spirit. We pray for those that are alone, the sick, and those who care for them. We pray for the homeless, the unchurched, the unemployed, those contemplating suicide, and their families. Grant that your spirit may sustain, protect, and heal them. In our community, we pray for us. Today we pray for, uh, for my path to be shown to me and a safe, non-using place for me. Uh, we pray for Bessie Loudner, Vicki Lambert, the Snavy family, Salisbury family, Elizabeth, Eagleman family, the George Eagleman, the Moreau family, Good Voice Elk family, Stewart family, uh, Silvery, Aaliyah, Kendrick, Chucky. Pray for Josie, Cammy, Angie, Jen, the Two Hawks family, Curtis Shields, Ilea Joseph and family, the Denoyer family, uh, the Knott family, Philip, Jen, Kylie, Vassar family, Ellen, Lisa, Anthony, and Chris, the Ming family, Patty Blacksmith, Shirley, Daryl, Lil, Bill, Henry, Leilani, and Miranda, uh, Juanita and family, Russell and Felix Eagleman, and for heaven, and all others we name aloud or hold in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Great Spirit, that your journey through life, that our journey through life, may know the harmony and rhythm of the setting sun, 
We pray that we may look longingly toward the sunset of our lives and feel your greatness and beauty within us. Creator, we pray for all who have died that they may have place in your eternal kingdom where there is no pain or grief but life eternal. We pray especially for Father Abbott Warren Schobert. We pray for Chuck. We pray for all who you remember in your hearts. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For yours is the majesty, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us share a sign of peace as we prepare the altar for communion. We'll also take up uh, the offering basket. I need a helper. Probably two helpers. We have a backpack that was found in the ladies room.
Dukashila Wakampaka is here. God's Spirit never leaves us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to God. Let us always offer our thanks. It is right to offer thanks and glory. It is right, it is good, and it is joyful to always offer our thanks to you, our Creator, to Kashila, for all your gifts and all of creation. Because you gave Jesus Christ, your eldest son, to be born for us, who by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit was Baedic Chewi Shachawakan, the sacred man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become his children. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with all of our relatives on earth and in heaven. Waka, waka, waka. We chose the Eli Tansha waka, waka. Machpiana maka, nito we kanki o juna. Wo we pangu hanwe, it pancha eo kawa. Joshua, you loved your creation so much that when it was time, you sent your chaske, Jesus Christ, to complete our adoption with the rest of your creation through his baptism and ours. We now stand with your creation as your humble children. Help us to see you and all of our relatives within this holy ceremony so we might serve the world through our prayers and our actions. In the beginning, we wandered in darkness until through your care and calling, we entered into the sunlight where we joined the rest of your creation. You provided for our needs, teaching us how to live by always seeking your voice. And when it was time, you sent your Woniawaka to bless our Iniwaka, Mary, with the birth of your Chaske, Jesus Christ, so that we might never walk alone again. He taught us how to pray how to heal and how to mature as his brothers and sisters. When it was time, Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, and he gave it to his relatives and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this with me and with all our relatives. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and he said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new adoption, which is shed for you and for all of our relatives for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this with me and with all our relatives. <clears throat> Dukashua invites us to pray. We thank you. We praise you. We offer ourselves to you. We make our offering to you with a humble heart, giving you these gifts of bread and wine. We ask you to send your Woniwaka to bless these offerings that they would be the ceremonial food of the body of Christ and his blood of the new adoption. Help us to stand with your son, your Chaske, Jesus Christ, so that we might be good children in your creation, being made holy by your Woniwaka. And when it is time, return to us, so we might always stand with all of your relatives as a sacred people. By Jesus, and with Jesus, and in Jesus. In completion of Tukashala's creation, all glory and honor is yours now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Jesus Christ has taught us to pray, we are bold to say, Ate uyapi, machpia ekta na kechi, ni chaje wakana pinuwe, ni toki choje unuwe, machpia ekta ni pawachi ni chopiki, pe echa maka aka ni chopi nuwe, a petu eofi a kopiki, a petu kere ukopie, na kona e cheshnea, e cha unki chipi. We cha on ki chi cha chu chu pi king. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. Hallelujah. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Okay, we go clockwise here. So I'll be here with the bread. Barb is going to be here with the wine. We do use real wine. You don't have to have the wine if you don't want. In fact, if you don't want communion, you don't have to. But if you've never had communion and you want to come forward, put your hands like this, and that way I know you're there for communion. Now, if you'd rather not have communion but would like to receive a blessing, then you put your arms over your chest like this, and that way I know you're there for a blessing. And once you receive uh, God's blessing, then you can be seated. Okay, we'll start right here. Can I do that? Oh, uh... 
Let us pray. You have accepted us as your children, as we have been adopted by our GA, Jesus Christ. You have fed us with the sacred food and the sacrament of Christ's body and blood. Send us into the world in peace, taking your spirit with us, so we might serve all we meet as holy relatives. Make us strong and brave to love and serve you with happiness and peace devoted to you through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. Let's sing our closing hymn found in the back. Need some help to move the, uh, the altar and the stuff into the 